how you doing? I'm at the uh, at KCI, as you know. Everything's been about KCI lately with uh, the new terminal, which is right behind me, opening up tomorrow. Which means the old terminals will be no longer used for terminals. And uh, the weather is... Uh, there's still... Uh, well, right now, I'm right on the line of being under a severe uh, thunderstorm warning. And it's coming right at us, but it's kind of weakened on the south end. Although, north end looks like it may have a, a couplet. But uh, I'm just kind of keeping an update going while I try and figure out what I'm doing. Oh, and I'm here at the airport police. And this morning, they uh, told me that air, the police are busy, so... I don't need a parking pass. I have my old passes, and if worse comes to worse, we'll use one of those. Hopefully, nobody's gonna say anything about saying anything to us after you know the police told us. Oh, my window windshield keeps fogging up. As you can see, this lens is fogged up too. So anyway, uh, the week is off to a banging start. gusty right now. This may be the gust front. It's hard to tell in the dark, but it's pretty windy. I'm taking it sleazy. This was a big blazing fire. Looks like they got it mostly out, but you can see there's nothing much left. Jeez. It's been raining like to beat all. I got a little wet out here, ugh. But, you know, it's nothing compared to what these guys go through in their daily routine. I'm always amazed by the work they do. Here is the old KCI on its last day. A lot of people have many memories of this place, including me. Uh, it'd be sad to see it go. And yes, of course, again, we are live in the terminal, saying goodbye to these terminals. And this is where I've come many times after or during live shots to get my pick-me-up, my coffee. I think I might get some today, one last time. The blue floors and the uncomfortable seats which I know some of them are moving to the other terminal. Yay! And KCI. I'm gonna do my walking shot. Okay. If I don't get run over, but I'm gonna walk here into the terminal one last time. The voice of Kathy Quinn. Here's our favorite airline. No, it's not really an endorsement, it's the one everybody uses. Here's our, our cubby. It sits empty because they took the furniture to the new terminal. I think. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, being boorish and redundant about this place, but it's a wonderful design. They should not tear it down, in my opinion. All these uh, structures here are load-bearing, which means that uh, really what you see is what you get. There's beauty and simplicity, and this is a very, actually very simple design. So you should think twice about destroying public art like this because it is very beautiful. We can find some other uses for it. I have a few ideas of my own and I'm sure a lot of other people do too. Right, yep. Last day at the old terminal.
again, just very beautiful, simplistic design. Easy to use. And people are really going to miss that. It's the end of my day, but it's not the end of my day because I have a nail in this tire back here and it's been losing air. Eh, somebody forgot their card too. Oh, there it goes. It opened. Maybe. And so, uh, I have to go to the tire shop and see if I can get it fixed. which tire shop to take it to. I could take it to the one I usually take it to, but it's a company car, so they won't, I don't think they'll like that. I don't know. I don't know. I should just try and find a regular tire shop. Either way, I'm probably sitting there for much longer than I want to, and it's going to be afternoon by the time I get my, get to bed, so. Wah, wah, wah. Let's try here. Well, let me tell you. They say that if I come back at 2, they might be able to get to it. But otherwise, I'm looking at a 2 to 3 hour wait. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And I'm like, it's the middle of my night, man. I'm, I work nights. I got to get this fixed by tomorrow. And... You know, it's just a nail in the tire, so. I guess I'll go to where my first, first thought was, which I hate to, I to go to discount tires. I mean, it's nothing against discount tires. I just feel like, you know, they will, you know, they'll, they'll do it. They'll probably do it for free. It's just that. I'm interested in buying a tire, but I guess I am eventually on my own personal cars and I always go to them, so I don't know. If it's worth it to them, I'll do it. I just hate to, I feel like I'm taking advantage of your generosity. What can you do? <laughs> yep, they got her done and the charge was zero free I guess as long as we take our cars here and get tires here then it pays off for them so you know that builds loyalty so I guess that's the name of the game there well let me tell ya I got a whole bunch of these and try and organize the back, but it's kind of hard to organize when you keep throwing junk back there. Mm -hmm. The junk is meant to organize the junk, and when you add more junk to organize the junk, you get more disorganized. Mm -hmm. And found a grow light, and to give that to Suyen for her plants. And uh, a couple of uh, cheapo phone holder tripods and a ring light. I finally four dollars for a ring light, and I'm just going to use it maybe in the car because you know when the talent wants to uh, have the camera pointed to them and talk, then uh, maybe it's overkill. I don't know. I could use it for something else, but it's it's made for you know, live streaming, doing Zooms, things like that. You know, at night, these uh, GoPros are kind of uh, dark cameras, so maybe it'll lighten up the face in the right way. But, hmm, hmm, it's just a bunch of junk, really. But, I'll you can always find uses for it. It's cheap enough, so. Oh well, way past my bedtime. Yep, you know it, at the new terminal.
Pretty swanky. I like the uh, the uh, security. Like it's a big maze. You wonder where your cheese is, but I think the single point entry security is pretty cool. And I haven't been inside the secured area. They won't let us in there, but it looks pretty neat. It's a lot like a lot of other airports I've been to. Been to quite a few. I don't know how it stacks against uh, a lot of the Asian European airports that are pretty nice, but it's a good entryway for Kansas City. Beautiful weather. And doggies. What's up, pups? How you doing, dogs? Seems like it's been a long time since we've done this, doggies. It's supposed to get cold probably starting tomorrow. Of course, you know, our, our uh, uh, boomerang weather. And uh, tomorrow's first of March, so I guess March is coming in like a lion. Hey, mine. Yep. It's a Tuesday night in Westport. Not much going on. Coming up on the scene of a uh, three police officers shot. There's media here, I think, including our guys. How you doing? Uh, well, I, I never knew what uh, why they called an Operation 100 an Operation 100. I guess it's because it takes at least 100 people to take to deal with it, which is uh, you know wonderful, wonderful waste of time. But, uh, yeah, the the thing that I pulled up. On started at 9:30 last night and it's still going on. There's still people in the house being very hard-headed, and I was telling a joke. It's like you know dealing with my kids. Um, you know they know they're busted. You know they're busted, but they try and um, they try and delay the inevitable as long as possible, and in so doing, they get themselves in much deeper doo-doo. So, yeah, these people, they know that they are, they're in for it, and they're just delaying the inevitable, but it, it will come. Anyway, I'm on the old uh, Westport Road here, it looks like, it goes straight from Westport into uh, Independence. start heading back actually I'm done for the day except I gotta put my clips in and return my TV but uh okay so hey how you doing today I had to go or last night or this morning whatever I had to go straight from the house to the Operation 100 to relieve the crew that was there so they could go home, put their stuff up and everything. And uh, and I couldn't leave there until I was relieved by uh, a photographer who came the next shift after me. And in that situation, you know, I didn't get to go to the bathroom. I didn't get to make my quick trip run or whatever. And so when my reporter showed up, first opportunity I had she had another news car 
I took her news car and went to the bathroom, but I couldn't go to the quick trip because I was going to mix my, miss my next hit. So I had to go to the nearest gas station on the corner, which was a, not a quick trip. And quick trips are known for their, their bathrooms. They, they keep them reasonably clean when they can. And, uh, you know, and stuff like that. And their facilities are reliable. And, but a lot of the other brand gas stations, they're not very well known for that. I mean, Casey's is, Casey's is pretty consistent. A lot of the others aren't. And, and you might be lucky if they even have a bathroom at all. There's quite a few of them that will uh, tell you that their bathroom is uh, out of order or that they don't have one. They don't have public restrooms which is really tough when you're in that situation and you really need to go and you can't, you know, you have no other choice. So I went to this one against my better judgment and I got in there, the door was locked. Well, I understand that a lot of places that are kind of in the inner city, they have problems with vagrants camping out in their bathrooms, trashing them, shooting up drugs, stealing food or whatever are off the shelves, alcohol and consuming them in the bathrooms and, you know, stuff like that. So they give you a key and you, you know, I didn't know that there was no sign. I just figured it out. I went up, do uh, you have a key for the bathroom? Yeah. They gave me a key. I'm like, Oh, so there wasn't somebody in there. It wasn't locked because of that. It was locked because they're an inner city gas station. And I get in there and I do my thing and I was, oh yeah, there's toilet paper. Great. Excellent. Only it was like a partial roll. Like it, it was down to the last sheets. And I didn't know that. I thought the the big thing that keep, kept all the toilet paper in it on the wall was stocked. So I used up the toilet paper and the thing wasn't stocked. And so, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, why do these people do this? Don't they know that um, so much business is generated by keeping a good, clean, stocked bathroom? I mean, I know it's a hassle. I know every so often somebody will come in and do something stupid in there. But the benefit outweighs the cost and they, people, there are some people who just act like toilet paper is gold and they're not giving it away for free. I'm like, well, the, you know, people who go come to your place for a nice clean bathroom also buy stuff for the most part. Some people just use a bathroom and leave. I never do that. And you know, so yeah, I don't know why. Whenever I can, I go to Quick Trip or Casey's and I leave these other places alone because obviously, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go get something hot to drink today. Something hot to drink. Look at the art. I think spring is coming, even though tomorrow or so we're going to have winter coming back. This is fall spring. Hey, how you doing? Not much that happened overnight, which is good for once. I just had to go back to where the police officers were shot yesterday and check to see if there were still police there, which there weren't. And so... And we went live here at police headquarters because there's no, there wasn't the safety of the police presence in the uh, area in uh, Blue Summit, which um, is not the best neighborhood to be in at night, especially after stuff like that happens. So we were live in front of uh, the police headquarters here and uh, you know, we're in what you can call the government quarter of Kansas City. There's the Jackson County Courthouse. 
the city hall, the Art Deco city hall, built from Pendergast, ready mix concrete, back in the 30s. There's a modern brutalist building built in the 70s, the same style of uh, building that is a uh, KCI. This is a newer addition to uh, the police headquarters. And the police headquarters was built in the 30s as well. The same Pendergast concrete. And uh, over there is uh, the federal building. Where a lot of members of my family have worked. So now it's time to uh, pack it in and go back and turn on my TVU and go home. Woohoo! Today was okay. Last night was kind of a mess. Well, I mean, you know, overnight this morning was fine. You know, my work and everything, but last night was a mess. Won't go into that, but I'm going to go into this. And get my favorite steak burger. See what does the sign say? Don't accept Apple Pay. May I have a double Winstead with cheese but no onions? French fries and a large cherry limeade. Large cherry limeade. Yep. Anything else I can get you? Uh, no thanks. Double cheese, a pickle mustard, ketchup, a fry, and a large cherry limeade. Yep. Thank you. All right, I got a doctor up my stuff. It really shouldn't park here, but it's just for a minute or so while I. We have salt this side. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's hidden in the napkin. Ooh, ooh. I iodized salt. not super fond of little packets like that because it doesn't one one fry will get all the salt and you'll taste it too and it's this fry right here it's okay mm. there's the salt all right Wash it down with the cherry limeade. And, oh, he made it really cherry. This time, I like it. And then let's taste our, our burger, see if it's acceptable. Mmm. Best steak burger. Steamer time. This is Luke's steamer. That's pretty cool. Chocolate. Hey, 
Hey, how you doing? I don't know the sound the sound on this because the mic is sort of far away and the scanner is right there. <laughs> At the next stop sign, turn right. And GPS. Uneventful night, which is good. I think I heard uh, there was a crash, maybe a police chase and crash. Involving dark blue in color. Please see at least one time. Oh come on. There's a lot of lonely people out. Involving a woman who evacuated the car as it was still moving. I think I drove by, it was like 29th and Broadway. But um, I don't think uh, there was much there to be seen. There was an SUV that had taken out a lamppost. And, but uh, miraculously, nobody was hurt. And uh, today's my day to do my live streaming. And I did that. And um, Westport was kind of busy. It's drizzly. It might snow. I kind of doubt it, though, because the temperatures are too warm. And now I'm going to my, my live shot, so. Ooh. I'm gonna see about getting some cool off you. So we got the coffee. And danishes, which can't eat meat until tomorrow, so. That's what we're doing. It is somebody's birthday, so we're taking them to their favorite store. Look at all this stuff. Doggies, sit. <laughs> What's up, Jim Pup? Jimmy. Come on, dongs. Jimmy, we can't water every bush. Come on. chicken vermicelli. Saya's got the beef. Aunt Suyanne's got the chicken pho. And Zachum has beef vermicelli. I'm surprised that's not gone already. He's still working on the uh, appetizers. We are sassified. Mm. Retail. I am retail rebelled out. I'm just hanging with the dongs. Right, dongs? The weather is so good. I'm taking these for a walk. And then we hope to get some tea later and sit down and enjoy. Look at that beautiful weather. Yep, I hear maybe the rest of this month might be kind of cold, so take advantage of the days when we have it. Right, dongs? Right? Come on. Come on, dongs. Beautiful weather. Looking back down on downtown. Tales of 
River Key. The Kansas City Trolley. Yep, farmer's market is closing down for the night. We have finished our walk. Right, donkeys? And we're going to go get some tea. Yes, it's tea this time. Tea. Tea. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jimmy and Stella. Happy birthday, dear Stella. Happy birthday to you. Barky more. I know you look really thrilled. All right, Sai, give you a cake now. Especially <laughs> Jimmy. I just want to like his twirl. No, no, Sal. Just put it there. Just put it there. You want light peak? Did Jimmy eat it? Of course he did. <laughs> Devoured. Devoured. I saw this right here. Just eat them. The dogs get more sweets than the humans. Not true. We don't get oh, you also bought the cheapo Valentine cake, didn't you? No. Yeah. Come on, baby. Cheapo Valentine. Right. You want this one now, Jim? <laughs> huh? How about this one? Nummy Jim, nummy Jim. And then last oh. color, Jimmy. Hey, 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 hold on, Zach. I was gonna get I'm gonna take a photo. What the heck? All right. Just eat it, Stella. <laughs> Apparently, oh, no. I can't move. Your arm, look. Look at that, look. Perfect. No, 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 no. Here at Choich. We're in Shawnee, Kansas. I guess we're having brunch here before dance practice. Pega. We are sassified. We are here for the dance practice. This has become our Sunday. You might say, well, your, your kids are not Filipino. Why are they learning Filipino dance? Well, the missus is Filipino. And the kids are learning because... Uh, we're trying to expand their horizons, but also, you know, their their cultural horizons as well. And, you know, for better or worse, their aunt is Filipino, and she's raising them that way. And I think that's a good thing, actually. So, therefore, yeah. Apologies for the wind. Can't do much about it. I think they're going back to basic dance steps. So unbelievably gorgeous. 
The car thermometer says 72 degrees, so it's probably about 70. And yeah, we're we're doing grocery shopping here at Costco. Aunt Suyan is doing grocery shopping inside. That is, I'm babysitting dongs, and uh, this vacuum is at the Filipino dance, still practicing, and you know we're we're trying to get things done. So, yeah, just enjoying this weather, and there's been dire predictions that March actually came in like a lamb is going to go out like a lion, which means that. For the rest of March, the weather may turn really yucky and wintry again. So this is what we call fake spring. And uh, hopefully that's not true. Hopefully it's more bearable than bitter. But yeah, what can you do? Yep, babysitting dongs. Right, dong? Where's the other dong? Spella! Bella. Yep, there they are. I don't know why they don't want to go outside. It's so nice, but I don't know. I think lounging in this nice breeze is pretty good too. Right, dogs? You like the breeze? Hey, Jimmy, there's a doggy. Doggy, doggy, dog, dog, doggy. Get the dog, get the dog. There's a cat, cat. Oh, look at that lazy dog. <laughs> Where's the doggy? Where's the dog, Jim? 